can be the best. A combination of old and new faces with a new seating arrangement at a high table. Welcoming the members to cabinet, President Hage Gainkop called on the ministers and deputy ministers to familiarize themselves with a cabinet handbook which defines the role and importance of cabinet. While touching on the issue of accountability and collective responsibilities, Dr. Gainkop said it is crucial that ministers and deputy ministers work as a team. We work in silos. We create empires and managers, we are told managers, you are managing people you don't even like sometimes. You didn't select them, but they are there, you must manage them, you must work with them. You don't have to laugh each other, it's not a laugh affair. It's to work together to deliver services to our people. Recently, a local daily reported that some deputy ministers claim that they have become pawns who just come to the office to read newspapers as they do not have anything to do. This was shocking to the president. What a shame. How do you make a statement like that? To such individuals, I must appeal that if they are uncomfortable, they should resign. You should have self-respect. If somebody ignores you, you are not doing anything. You're just sitting there as a model. My God, leave. The head of state said he was aware of ministers and deputy ministers who do not talk to one another or with their permanent secretaries, saying such tendencies should be discouraged as they are not in the best interest of the nation. The president said ministers and deputy ministers will soon receive their terms of reference outlining key performance indicators on which their performance will be gauged. Tonatini Shiduzu, NBC News, State House.